Hello guys. Okay. Hello guys. Hello guys. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to add a advanced sandbox gun to your like fan game. So what I mean by advanced? Every other like sandbox gun, it's not really the best. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Mine, honestly, it's like 200 times better. So yeah, let's go straight into the video. Okay, so what you want to do is go into the description, go to my Discord, aka the Coding Hub, uh, join the Discord, uh, go down to scripts, or uh, it'll probably be the first one here, or go to quick, quick script defining, and it's going to be at the bottom here. Um, and then download the script called Advanced Sandbox Gun. Then what you want to do, make like a gun model, or if you have one, import it. Uh, this is just mine. To fly my goddamn room. Um, and then what you want to do, uh, add the script onto the gun. Um, then yeah, you'll also have a line render. Uh, in so you don't don't do anything with the sandbox gun yet. Go to line render, uh, color. Just do red. So just press on this, do red, press on this, and do red. Or you can do whatever you want if you know how to use gradients. Um, line width. Do line width. Do zero point zero one. Uh, if you, if there's nothing in materials, uh, just add it or select this little thing and search up for line, and then just select this and there we go. Now in your advanced sandbox gun, so shoot ha these hand settings is basically um, which hand is gonna like trigger all of these things. Um, so shoot hand is your trigger. So your trigger, so you can use it or either right hand or left hand. Switch object hand which will be your A button or the other button in your left controller. Uh, this will like switch the objects to like what it spawns. So you can have a you'll, you'll spawn a cray, let's say, or a cube, or that, and you can switch it to spawn that. Change category hand is basically it's gonna change categories. Um, which like you got uh, ragdoll categories, uh, object categories, like something like that. Um, then yeah, and what this will be, this will be your B button or the other hand, the top button. Um, and then yeah, I have these as right hand since I'm right handed and I rather have this on my right hand. Spawn point is gonna be so if you're if you're not using raycast, then you're gonna have this spawn thingy which will be over here. Like make it. Like one away, or like however far you want, like two maybe, just a bit away from the gun, so that because this is where the object, like whatever it will spawn at. Um, I just have that as one, but if you are using raycast, tip of gun, what it will do, uh, create another empty game object, make it like right at the tip of the gun, or just like maybe a bit inside or a bit outside, doesn't really matter, just has to be like at the tip of the gun. Uh, drag that into there, and in here, uh, I do kind of suggest you uh, to have use Raycast because it's honestly just much better. And yeah, so what you want to do? Uh, let me just quickly uh, do another stub. Uh, uh, do another stub. Okay. So if you're using Raycast, Raycast max distance is basically how far this can go. Like the Raycast can actually go. I would just leave it probably as a hundred. Um, line render, drag this line and render it into here. Ignore layers. It's gonna be the layers of an object that it's gonna ignore. So let's say you got you have like a wall or like a trigger wall that enables something, um, and you want your ray to like ignore like that object with that object with a certain layer. Uh, that's what this does. Uh, so you could just create a, an object. I have a layer, I just, I just like do whatever, I'll just put seeable, um, you can create your own layer, and then just uh, assign it here, or you could just have nothing, and that means it'll just spawn in every single kind of object. Text, make two uh, type of texts, not G, uh, not UI texts, uh, like the ones when you go through the object text, uh, make one category text, and we make one object text, uh, drag them into here. Shoot, these these are just cooldown settings. 
So shoot cooldown, delete cooldown, uh, switch object that could change category cooldowns. Um, I just have these as uh, the setting 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So you can just keep these uh, probably as my settings. If you want no cool cooldown, just have a uh, shoot and delete cooldown zero. But I recommend I recommend having a cooldown for the uh, category for the cooldown for like the to switch object and change cat uh, and change category. Since because um if because when you want to change something, it will kind of like maybe spam it and it will kind of be annoying for the person. So it's just better to have a kind of cooldown thing. Categories is going to be here. Uh, you can add multiple categories. So name of category is going to be the name of the category. It's going to say whatever you have in here. So I have cubes. It's going to say cubes. Prefabs. Uh, so you have to have this as prefabs unless it will just probably not work. Um, I have prefabs if I go resource. No, not resources. Uh, scripts, advanced thingy, prefabs. I have all these prefabs with Richard Body on. Make sure to not have H trigger on any of them. Um, collision detection, I have continuous dynamic. Mass, I have a, as 100. Layer, delete. Uh, make sure to make a layer called deletable and put them in every single prefab that you want to be able to spawn. Because then you won't be able to delete objects. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if we go back into the sandbox gun. Uh, you just drag them into here and then yeah. Um... Make another uh, category, a uh, category, you could call it deleting, whatever. If this is going to be like a deleting category, so you do not have any prefabs unless, uh, I mean, because this just kind of will break it probably. Uh, so do not have any prefabs. Turn on is delete deletion category. And then deleting settings, you can either use tag or layer. I use layer because it's kind of easier. Um, I, then you can just do, you could do tag or layer. Just make sure uh, every single prefab has the same tag or layer. Um, so yeah. And that's actually pretty much all. Um, if I show you guys. This also has PC support. So I'll show you guys if we go like here. Uh, drag it down. I press my left click button. It spawns objects. Yep. Uh, I can change it. Uh, e is to change object. Will spawn the object uh, if I make this local and then press Q to change the category. You can just spawn other things, press A to change the thing again. And if I press Q again, deleting, so boom, boom, you can just delete stuff like that. So that's how you add um, an advanced sandbox gun. You can use this for like a sandbox game mode or whatever. So yeah, also you do not have to really worry about any of this debugging stuff. And one more thing, um, in my Discord server, um, I'll tell you that uh, you need to use easy inputs. Just click on that, like there's going to be like a, so where it says there, like best for AI, it's going to say easy inputs. Click on that and then download the unique package and import it if you don't already have it. And yeah, that's how you add um, an advanced sandbox gun. I'll see all of you guys, and that's really all. Um, yeah, I'll see all of you guys in the next tutorial or video. Goodbye.